Well, you never know where we're gonna end up. We've voluntarily chosen to come here to the Ohio State Prison. Yeah, this might look familiar to you. It's where the Shawshank Redemption was uh, filmed. And apparently some other famous creepy movies with creepy stuff. And uh, we're gonna go have a tour. Yeah, we're going to jail voluntarily. So, just in case you didn't know, no backpacks are allowed. We'll talk more as we go through. Well, we're entering the prison and Debbie's gonna be the tour guide. She's got a thing that tells her stuff. Wait, there's a plaque. Let's see what she has to say. She's not saying anything. She's listening. Wait. That was built right after the Civil War. Away from the influence of older and more hardened criminals. That's all you get? Apparently, Air Force One did something here as well. I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's a movie. Yes. Oh, right, that guy was in that movie that does that stuff. The guy with the nose. Yeah. Tell Harrison. us more. Harrison Ford. Yeah. He was the president. He actually fought everybody. All right. So by the time they did the Air Force One movie, this whole courtyard was kind of torn up. So they put the new bars on with the wood, which is kind of weird, and that gate out front to make it look like a Russian prison for the scene from the movie. And there was probably no dumpster in that one. Crafts from inmates made from soap and dead people. Okay, maybe not dead people. Or selected I, I was working at the outside warehouse on the outside of the building uh, when I happened to notice that two young inmates went over the fence at the cannon. Well, I had somebody pick my inmates up and I followed them up through the orchard. We got up to 545 Olive's Burnt Road and they had disappeared. I found the one in a weeds right across the road and I captured him and held him until more help came. But I looked for this other boy and I looked and I looked and all the rest of the guys that was up there, they looked. And we never did find him. But I found out the next morning that the state patrol had captured him trying to break into that house up there. And uh, so I went to him and asked him where he was. He said, well, he said, I was in the doghouse. And he said, uh, I seen you go, legs go by that doghouse about five times, circling around. And the do little dog sat there, never made a word. He just watched me and as nice as could be.